Happy Saturday, everybody. Today I've got a video on my Occidental tool bag. As you can see, I've got it pretty stuffed with stuff. And as you can imagine, it's pretty damn heavy. But what I like to do is just get on site, put this out of the way, so it's not getting tripped over, but also somewhere where I can access it and pick stuff up as I need. So let's just get right into it. As you can see on the uh, side here, I've got my little pencil pouch, which I like to keep all my round pencils and carpenter pencils in here. Um, this is actually a slot for a tape measure, but it seems to be really tight. So maybe a 16 foot tape in here, but I haven't, I don't have one of those. So over here in this right pocket, I have got a jab saw, got some shears here, this is just a bit of a novelty item, I've got a one inch, I think this is an inch and a half chisel, here I've got my trusty coping saw, this gets pulled out a lot, my large combination square, I've got three torpedoes for some reason, this is my the one that I've just picked up recently which I really like foot long. Here I've got a collection of files. I've got a round one and some more aggressive ones. Um, this is probably my go-to for finishing off coke joints on base and, um, and ground molding. Here I've just got some Typhon and um, this is some ASIC glue. Moving on I've got um, a large cat's paw. And if I flip this over like such, I've got all of my screwdrivers and these are just a couple of chisels I've got in here. They give you a little chisel holder, which is cool, so they don't get damaged. And here I've got my awl and this is my ratcheting screwdriver, which I like to use for um, installing hardware with Allen keys. Instead of using the Allen key, you can use this. It makes your life a lot easier. I've just started using these. Um, I just call them miter clamps, um, but I've got, they work with this tool, and I like to pre-assemble my casings, and then sometimes my outside corners on baseboard with these, and some glue. Um, here, I've got some pullers, my Allen keys, everything is still a little bit stiff because the, the leather is still pretty new. Um, here is my trusty block plane. Love to pull that out. People make fun of me for it all the time, but can do good work and quick work if you you know how to use it. I've got two of my three punches. The other one's in my bags. Um, we'll go to the, the the hammer pocket, as I like to call it. You know, it's crazy to have three hammers, but I find a use for them. This is my main one, my trim hammer. This is my. I believe it's a 20 ounce branding hammer. And then Wonder Bar. And this is just my demo hammer. It's, uh, I believe this one's a 20 ounce as well. That was my, my first hammer. Here I've just got a collection of pry bars, which I really don't use too often. I usually use my five and one. Um, there are snips that I also don't use very often. These two items I use quite a bit, with, especially with trim, angle finder, and um, my scribes. Here I've just made a little reveal block, which is 3 16 which is what I usually use as my reveal. Got a little stubby and a plumb bob in down there. And in this middle pocket, I've got some tape. We're doing hardware, some drill bits my stud finder. Um, I've got some pliers. One of my favorite pliers right here, my linesman. And that about wraps it up. Been really enjoying the setup and like I said I like to just pull it out on the first day I'm on site and have it be out of the way but somewhere where I can access it and switch tools out for my tool belt and grab some. Maybe I'll need a bigger speed square, maybe I'll need a stud finder, find studs, and then I can just pop it back and it's 
all nice and organized. So thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more, like and subscribe.